Cleaning them all up. Yeah, and that too. You might need to clean your own vest, darling. Yeah. Spill it down it. <laughs> Are these ones clean? Yeah. Or not? Clean. Is it clean? No. What we get it. That in and that in. It's dirty. Yeah, it dirty. Okay, you clean my pants. Hmm. Thinking. Pans are all safe? Yeah. That's good. Ah, oh, wait to shave. And they bang it. Oh. What? Come out. <laughs> That's Yay. so funny. Yay. Yay. Can you roll it? <laughs> okay, you want to roll it? I am Queen Box style. Wait. I am Queen Box style. I demand you stop the show. one vlog it's the next day and we've checked out this morning and driven up the road we'll just say and arrived at Esme's birthday celebration cabin I'm so excited to not sleep in the caravan <laughs> I love my caravan guys you know I do I love adventuring I do I sleep okay you know I love caravanning but when you've been in the caravan for two to three weeks like we have, it's it's nice the thought of having a little bit more space. We've just pulled up at the cabin and it's like this is the number one spot on this whole whole site. I cannot believe this one's ours. It's got the best, best, it's got the best view over the lock, which is insane. Stunning. And it's just, oh my gosh. Right, come on guys, let's go see inside. I really want to go on the veranda first. I'm so excited to go and see this. Oh, oh my god, it hasn't been cut off! My. Huge. Wait, this is gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Hot tub! The smell, the smell! <laughs> oh the my tub. gosh, get me in there right I now. Am oh in my that. god. Yeah. Is it hot? Is it nice? It's so nice. Oh, oh my god! god. On a bridge! Look guys! Look guys! There it goes! What's that? Big corn! <laughs> a big crew! Wow! They don't eat it! You wanna go in there? Yeah. Should we go see inside? Yeah. Oh my gosh, imagine yeah. sat out here having breakfast! It's so, so nice. nice! Look at the view! Can we go in? Oh my gosh! Oh my god. Wow, look how wide it's massive. It's so big. Come down. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this tap. Like, it's just really nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, wow. Why is that so fresh? 
Oh, that's that. so nice, isn't it? It's gorgeous, man. Beautiful. <laughs> right, come on. Oh, we've got a washing machine. Yeah. We've got a washing machine, our own. Oh, Oh, babe, we've even got a hitty. Cute bedroom here. Oh, this is nice. Very nice. Jeez, look. Oh, it's off in that one. Are you going in there? <laughs> look. look. There's a magazine there. Whoa. Oh, it's a triple room. This is so cool. Yay. Yeah. Now, I purposely booked this one because yeah. of the triple room. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. so the, cool. cool. the girls yeah. always want to sleep together when we're on holiday. I might sleep at the top. <laughs> There's so, so much storage. Cool. Look how cool these steps are. Yeah. That. Storage up there as well. That is really cool, is it? Hey, Jace, you've got your own bedroom. Come on, let's go to Jace's. <laughs> Just like, nope, I'm staying in here with you. Guys. And then this one. So cool. Oh, babe, I think. Let me see. Oh, we got an ensuite as well. Really nice one. These are beautiful. These are really nice cabins, aren't they? Amazing. So nice. We've even got a wine cooler, guys, for the wine that no one in this family drinks. <laughs> Such a nice little cabin. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you excited? Bye. Tell me to bye. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because we're used to being in the caravan in quite a small space, but oh my gosh, this place feels massive. It feels giant, like the the biggest cabin ever. I think we've ever stayed in. It's and nice. so nice and the nicest as well. We did. I know lots of you guys might have presumed. And we did try and actually book forest holidays, but forest holidays unfortunately were full for the dates that we wanted to go to. So we tried, I said it might be a good idea to try somewhere a bit different anyway. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad because this place is amazing. And also this place has indoor swimming pools as well as the hot tub. And the swimming pools look really big, so oh, I can't even tell you. I think there's three. Maybe two. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I'm so excited to get into the water and take the weight off my back of my giant belly. I cannot wait. I'm so grateful and so happy to be here. Jace, you're cracking me up, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? Mama, come. What are you doing? Cleaning. Mama, come. I'm not coming to clean. <laughs> what are you doing? It's already clean. No, I'm making. Is it not clean to your standard? Yeah, I clean more. You need to clean more. Yeah. Do you see you like daddy? No, it's river. <laughs> yeah, but you like daddy. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. He's been cleaning this floor for about half an hour. Yeah. You doing cleaning? Yeah. Okay. Be careful, okay? Okay. Don't want to make any marks, do we? Okay. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> What's wrong, Jace? Where, where? What's wrong? I am crying. Why is she crying? But her and the hot tub isn't ready. <gasps> Tell Isla. Tell her. Happy. Happy. Be happy. <laughs> Be happy. I'm happy. I'm a, I'm a really happy, really happy postman. <laughs> Don't do that, Jace. So me and Esme just went back to the caravan to get some of our backpacks and some colours and some things like that. What are you doing? Be careful. Me jumping. Hi. 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 Hey, hi. Hi. Okay. Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll watch you. What? What? I'm watching. I promise I'm watching. Go on. Whee! <laughs> and he's off. So, me and the, uh, Esme just went back to get some um, things to put in our room. Esme got like some, like a light that shines on the roof and some LOL dolls. Dad just come back because he got some snacks and things at the caravan to put into the cupboards and I'm just about to organise it all because I've got these really nice 
shelves um, above my bed so I can put some colours and books on there and things. And then also it's so cool because we've got these, um, you see these on Pinterest all the time. And uh, these like steps which lead up to a bed but obviously that they're also um, drawers to put things in, to like put clothes etc in. So I'm also about to sort those out. The girls also have really good storage in here as well like I know, uh, is Esme on the top? Yeah. Alright, okay. Well, Esme has like a storage thing up there, and then this can also be for Isla. But whoa, look how deep that is! Oh. <laughs> look how deep that goes. You put loads I, of clothes in there. I kind of wanted to sleep on the top bunk, but I didn't think it was there because um, I used to sleep in the top bunk in the caravan. Right, so you were switching. <gasps> Hello! So I just wanted to come on and just say really quickly an apology for the slightly abrupt ending to this vlog. It's actually. Oh, a quite a few days later now but we didn't end the vlog as you guys probably already know if you watched our previous vlog you'll know the circumstances and the reasons that we decided to take a bit of time away from the camera and that started right after that video so there was no end to the vlog that was last filmed which was I think the day I think that was the day we arrived here where we are now I, I wasn't sure if to just completely if to address this anymore or if to just move forward and not say anything um or what to do for the best but I did want to there are a few things that I think needed saying and also I do want to explain to you guys how we're going to be moving forward with our with YouTube basically how we're going to be moving forward with YouTube in order to keep you guys who love and enjoy our vlogs happy but also keep ourselves our sanity and our family safe from the dangers of being online basically so the first thing I'm going to start off by saying is a massive humongous thank you for the insane amount of love and support we've received on social media online through every single aspect of any ways you guys can contact us over the last week, few days, week, however long it's been. It it really has shown us like sometimes when something negative happens like this, you can feel suffocated. And even though we do we do get a lot of criticism and, and lots of people online do, sometimes those things stick in your head and you forget just how much good you've got in your life basically and, and how much support you've got out there and this week we've we've really been shown that which is just so lovely so thank you all so much I have also read a couple of comments saying um why don't you guys just accept responsibility and buy your kids life vests basically I'm not sure if you guys watched the video that we uploaded or not you probably did or if you just choose to only hear parts of the video that you want to hear but we very clearly stated in that video that we'd made a mistake we didn't know the dangers of locks like a lot of other people clearly didn't we've been able to educate a lot of people on that by highlighting this subject we've bought our children life vests so you don't need to keep reminding us to buy our children life vests we've done it we accepted that we were in the wrong and we've taken action to ensure their safety in the waters. I am still shocked and I've got to say that there's been such publicity about the fact that our family, even though there's so many other families on that same campsite, such uproar about how the girls didn't have life vests on and no uproar on in the press or anywhere about the fact that our family was physically stalked, tracked down by an individual. I don't know if he was already a troll or if he'd just been approached by trolls. It's irrelevant. He turned up at a site we were staying at with a photograph of our car. This is what we've since learned. And our registration plate, which we found out was given to him by someone else. He demanded to know if a family was driving that a family driving that car was staying on the campsite and then lied about who he was in order to gain access to our caravan. That is so dangerous. Like this guy could have been anyone. 
it's so dangerous. I don't care whether you agree he was aggressive or you think Chris might have been aggressive. He wasn't aggressive. Chris wasn't aggressive. It's irrelevant. This guy physically t tracked down our family and managed to gain access to our caravan with our children in it, inside. He then filmed the whole thing and uploaded it to his social media and then spent 24 hours literally ripping us to shreds on there. And then when he got a slight backlash, I've heard, from some of our 1.3 million subscribers, he's started to act the victim and like he did nothing wrong. This was never, ever about water safety or educating us. This was a personal attack on our family. This was a troll tracking down our location and literally lying about who he was to gain access to us and it's absolutely terrifying. How the dangers of this behaviour is not publicised more is just completely beyond me. Like completely beyond me. And I don't understand it at all. We said all along that we're happy to be educated in an appropriate manner on water safety and we're grateful to all of you IFAM that did educate us on that and the dangers of locks and undercurrents and things. But this wasn't about that, this incident was not about that. Um, I don't care what anyone says, anybody can clearly see what happened at the start, was it the start of this week? was a malicious attack, attack on our family. N nobody behaves in that way. Nobody goes to those lengths to track down a family when there's, let me also say, at least 100 other people in the water exactly the same as us. Um, I don't think I'm gonna say anything else on this subject. Um, I know that I've said on Instagram about the fact that everyone keeps hanging up on the word Chris saying we're famous or whatever his wording was and that's been twisted and manipulated as everything else online is that we say. It was extremely clear from the conversation that the guy was saying we've received a lot of anonymous complaints overnight and Chris was saying it in a way that says we're a well-known figure and we've got trolls, not we're famous, we can do whatever we want with our children. That's clearly not what he was saying. And I know I've explained that on Instagram, but I am going to explain it on here again, just to make it clear. He, he, wasn't, he was not saying we're famous, we can do whatever we want. He was saying it as in the respect that we're online and we're well known. Whether you agree with that or not, I don't really care. We are, hence why what happens, happens to us. Hence why we're stalked in this way. Um, but as aside from that, that's all we're going to say from on this matter. We're not going to mention it anymore. We're going to move forward. Our vlogs are something that we do for a living. It's how we pay our bills. So to the people saying, I bet they're not online long. They'll be back soon. Well, yeah, of course we will. You don't, you don't just quit work when you've got commitments and a family and a job and bills to pay. That's not how life goes. Of course we'll be back. So moving forward with the vlogs, we're going to be uploading every day except Mondays. We've decided that we'll be taking a day off a week, which will probably be a Sunday. Unless something big's happening, we're having a big day out and we want to film it, Sundays is going to be a day where we just take time for ourselves as a family and just have time away from the cameras basically. So it's unlikely that there'll be vlogs on a Monday on our channel. And then the third change is that no vlogs will be uploaded in real time. So there'll be a gap from when we upload to when you guys will see it. And that's because we cannot risk our location being leaked anymore. And most of you guys with a brain know how dangerous that is. This whole thing has been about safety of our children, but yet at the same time, these people are sharing our every single move and location. And it's not about, well, you film every day, loads of people know where you are, it doesn't matter. We're not sharing addresses. We're not sharing, we're at this campsite right now, come and have a, come and see us. And that's what we want to avoid. So. We will, if holidays and things like that as well moving forward, they will all be behind when we're there. So when we've left, they'll be uploaded. Daily vlogs will likely be the same. So there will still be daily vlogs. There will still be holiday vlogs. There will still be an upload every day except Monday. But they will all be filmed in advance. So if you see us 
at a holiday place it's likely that that was last week or something like that we're not doing this because we don't want you guys to know what we're doing or we, we want to be sly or anything other than this is the only way we feel like we can move forward whilst keeping our children and our family safe I think that's everything um, I didn't want this to be a big spiel at the end of the vlog but I do feel like a lot of this stuff needed saying and we're gonna end there we're back to vlogging tomorrow after having some days off and we hope you guys will continue to enjoy this the, the last part of our little UK road trip with us so we'll see you back here tomorrow night at 5pm good night guys mm -hmm.